2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. Nestled among the peaks of the Rocky Mountains, we're in the beautiful city of Denver, Colorado. Right, you can join us. It's Game 4 of the Western Conference Quarterfinal, live on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan with Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. And giving us the rundown from the sideline, David Aldridge. Hey, Dave. Kevin, thanks very much. Nikola Jokic loves to pass. He said an assist makes two people happy instead of just one. So it's as simple as that. And that simplicity and creative joy is part of what makes the big man tick. Jokic said... It helps me having fun out there. It's a different way to approach the game. And that makes him one of a kind in this league, Kevin. Sure is. Thanks, DA. And now the Golden State Warriors starters. Curry and Clay, the Splash Brothers, in the backcourt. Wiseman's out there with Draymond Green. And it's Wiggins in at the small forward. And for the Nuggets, Millsap and Jokic, the big men. Murray out there with Will Barton. And it's Porter in at the three slot. So Golden State will get the first possession. Curry passes to Wiseman. Outside, Green passes it to Curry. Those three pointers off the mark. Here's Denver now. Jokic passes to Barton. Curry with the steal. Now the Warriors moving it up. And he finishes the break with a lay-in. Curry's got the game going with his first points of the game for the Warriors. Yeah, and you see how Steph altered his pace there. Sometimes it looks like he isn't moving at all, and then bam, he goes warp speed. Now here's Barton. Green with the block. Higgins with it, now guarded by Fort, and they pick up two layers to his game over time. The more Wiggins looks to score inside, the more versatile he'll become. Curry against Murray. It's tipped. Here's the three. And that's good. Steph Curry for three. Curry's got five now. And guys, what do you think about the hustle stats here for the Warriors? Great hustle defensively through the first half, contesting everything and racking up the block shots. Another big aspect of their game tonight has been the fast break, transition opportunity. They're really keeping it up tempo so far. That's in, coming off the assist from Thompson. Seven points in the game. You know, you're going to have success when you can start out shooting 80% from the game. So, early offensively, they've been great. That's the way you like to start. Jokic with the bucket. Took a little time, but they get one to go. Maybe they're warmed up now. Curry against Murray. For three. It's hauled in by the Nuggets. They easily took Thursday's game. Well, it's easy to score when you're facing... Very little resistance. That's why their offense looked so good in that one. Well, I think it was a combination of things, quite honestly, but the defense didn't really offer them a challenge all night. I agree with that. And it's sent back by Jokic. Need more of this from Jokic. When he's active on defense, he's a capable shot blocker. Green with the ball. Now defended by Jokic. Wiggins dishes to Curry. Luck three. And the basket for the fourth time from the field. He's a healthy four for six. No doubt about the consistency when it comes to scoring the basketball for him tonight. A real nice lift for their offense. Jokic with the bucket. Well, you got to do more than that to stop Jokic. I mean, this guy is a master at converting through tough defense. Back to Curry from deep three-point range. Another three for Golden State. Yeah, that's too good a look to give him from behind the arc. Timeout is called. First of the game for the Nuggets. Trying to find some answers offensively. Yeah, and you know, that's going to be the focus of this timeout. They need to come up with a spark to get the offense going.
so it's Murray with it. He brings it up for the Nuggets. They trail by 11. And it's Murray with the chance. Nice to see Murray take it strong to the rack. Pretty good finisher he is inside. Curry kicks to Wiseman. Back to Curry. Pass to Wiggins. Again, Golden State. And their offense already in a flow. Some stellar shooting to jump out to this lead. Quality looks they're getting, and they're capitalizing on them, guys. They have to be happy with this start offensively. Now here's Barton. No points in the game yet for him. Six on the shot clock. Murray for three. It's rebounded by Golden State. Green's got his fourth rebound in this one. Not really his best quarter as far as scoring. Let, let's see if he can eventually get back on track. The Nuggets trail by 13. Barton outside. And there's the pass to Jokic. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. That's on James Wiseman. You know, it took a little time for Jokic to understand how to draw contact and get himself to the foul line, but he's figured it out now. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The first free throw is good. Jokic is really a jack-of-all-trades kind of player. This big fella has multiple skills, and there's not much he doesn't do well. And Jokic drops them both. Making it look effortless. Send this guy to the stripe. He's going to cash in more than not. To the paint. Weisman, good, and Curry gets the assist. And you can't help but pick their defense apart. They're completely in disarray. Well, everything's coming too easily. I mean, at some point defensively, you have to take something away. Yeah, another nice bucket down low. They've really been able to work the ball into the post effectively here so far. Now, here's Green. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. by Wiseman. Really seizing the momentum of this game, but doing it with a methodical approach. And, you know, that involves pounding it inside, getting as many points as you can right at the rim. That demoralizes the team. Barton against Thompson. And Jokic wide open. He shoots and a miss there on the triple. Warriors leading by 13. Now here's Wiggins. Here's Wiseman. He made that one. Basket number three for him. He's also missed two. And the defense looks soft early on. They've got to summon up a little more sense of urgency. Yeah, they've got to do a little more to disrupt their offensive rhythm, too. Denver calls timeout. Denver with a platoon swap here on the floor. Different look here for the Warriors. Rivers surveying the D. Back to Morris. They kick it out to Green. Outside Gordon. And another miss by Denver. And even with good coverage defensively that time, he has confidence to drill the three. And he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. The Warriors shooting their first free throw tonight. And 
and so it's Morris with it. He'll bring it up for Denver. It's an 18-point game. Rivers bounce pass. It's stolen by Weisman. And up the court come the Warriors on the break. Bazemore passes to Uber, goes up and lays it nice and easy. Well, part of their game plan was to block out the noise and just stay focused. And what's been impressive is that it's not been any one player. It's been a collective effort, contributions from everybody. And two shots coming up at the line as he gets fouled on the shot. Really a fantastic job by Gordon to bury himself down there, giving the defense really no other choice than to foul him. Denver shooting their third and fourth free throw shots of the night. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First one falls for him. The former Arizona Wildcat, Gordon, is a high-motor player who gives great effort out there all the time. And both free throws good for Gordon. Warriors leading by 18. Pass to Bazemore. Wiseman with the ball. Now Green defending. Cool the pass to Pascal. Shot clock at six. Used a shot fake to create the angle, but couldn't get it to fall. Well, you, you have to like their work on the boards, Kevin particularly here to start the game. Yeah, I like the way they're setting the tone. Really playing with a lot of energy here at the start. And Poole gets it to go. Their play on both ends has been superb. We, we'll see if they can maintain the momentum. And you know, nothing like getting an opponent on the ropes early. You love that if you're on that side of the scoreboard. And they are landing some haymakers now. For Denver, they have hit all four of their chances so far in this one. Two shots. Shoot two. And he makes the first. Raymond Green, he's checked in for the Warriors. free throws good from green here's pool pass to Ubre. and the call on the shot it sends him to the line the warriors have gone one for one making their previous attempt at the line two shots First free throw is good. He hits one and misses one each at the line. The Nuggets trail by 19. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Bazemore. His shot was hindered by that momentous mobile one block. And bringing that postseason intensity so key. These plays can change the trajectory of a game. Morris outside. Back to Green. And you know what, call it great defense or a poor offense. Either way, they're limiting their scoring. Bottom line is, they're ahead on the scoreboard, and that's all that matters. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. And it's that bulldog mentality that Green possesses, just going at defenders and daring them to foul him. The Warriors shooting their fourth and fifth attempts at the free throw line tonight.
and the first one drops. When he keeps his emotions in check, Green is a fantastic leader on the court. He can run a little hot, but there's no doubting his drive, his willingness to do whatever it takes to win. Both free throws good from Green. The Nuggets trail by 21. Morris passes to McGee. Back to Morris. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. The Nuggets have been excellent at the free throw line here today. A flawless six for six. Taking two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. And Morris drops them both. Here's Poole. To Pasco. Here's Poole. Down low. Now the pass to Pasco. Good, and it's Green picking up the assist. Green's got three assists in the game. Green up on top. Back to Morris. Warriors with the rebound. Green's got rebound number five here tonight. Here's Oubre. Rebound by JaVel McGee. The Nuggets trail by 21. Morris inside. A shot, no good. And Golden State will go the other way with it. Now Gordon. And McGee kicks to Morris. It's Rivers on the wing, covered by Oubre. That one goes in. And Gordon is a guy who's used to being bodied. I mean, he just kind of plays through it, shrugging off the contact and ignoring it, really. Pass to Oubre. And again, no good by Golden State. And Morris has got the ball here for the Nuggets. Trailing by 19. It's almost as if there's a lid on the hoop for him right now. He still hasn't gotten one to fall in the quarter. Pass goal, the pass to Oubre. Now here's Bazemore. Knocks down the three ball. And off to an incredible start here early from long range. Lighting it up from outside. Hard to keep up with this. Rivers dishes to Morris. Raymond Green grabs the miss. Green's got six rebounds in the game. He's having a tough quarter scoring the basketball and able to help them close this gap. Nugget shooting pretty grave so far, about 23%. Passes it to Morris. To the middle. Here's McGee. He can't get it to go. And so it's the Golden State Warriors cruising into the quarter break with a 22-point lead. The three-point shooting has come fast and furious to the tune of what has become a big-time blowout in progress. We'll return shortly. So, Greg, as you know, we asked Steph Curry, a great self-motivator in his own life, who holds you to the highest standard? And here's what he had to say. Oh, my wife, for sure. You know, never ever want to disappoint her. She shoots it to me straight. That's the biggest thing, whether I play well or not. I don't get too big of a head or I don't feel too, uh, too down on myself either. Sounds like he's got a good team, both at home and right here in front of us. Steph has already put up a Hall of Fame career 
but you can tell he doesn't feel anywhere near being done. And we welcome you back to Game 4 on 2K Sports. And guys, we've seen the Warriors really take control here. Coming in hot. They were sharp from the perimeter right out of the gate. Well, the player and ball movement has been excellent. Finding space, operating in space, and when they've gotten open shots, they've knocked them down. Setting the floor for the Warriors. Raymond Green is out there with Oubre. Then it's Eric Gaskell. Then there's Kent Bazeman. And it's Poole in at the point guard position. Now here is Morris. Back to Gordon. Shot clock at five. The Warriors pull it in. It's a plus five advantage for them in rebounding after that one. You gotta love his hustle, leaving the defense no time to react. Time out, time and you know out. you're gonna get those buckets, guys, when you're quick to get out on the break. Get that ball up the court as fast as you can. Denver calls timeout. Well, it's been an express lane to the rim. Coach can't be happy about that. And, you know, I think he's going to tell them simply, we have to show more fight on the interior. That's the top priority right now. here for Denver. Jokic has checked in for JaVale McGee. Michael Porter comes in for Green. Will Barton, he's checked in for Austin Rivers. And it's Jamal Murray in for Monte Moore. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. It's going to be on Andrew Wiggins. And you know, when Porter Jr. is healthy, I mean, he's got a lot of game. This guy is versatile. He's got good size. He's a multi-dimensional talent. Shooting two. And he knocks down the first one. Paul Millsaps checked in for Gordon. And Porter drops them both. Warriors leading by 22. Thompson. Looking for an opening. Here's Curry. And too long on the shot. Very surprising that he came away empty there. Especially given room to operate. Murray the pass to Barton. Outside for Murray. And another miss by Denver. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the chart. Yeah, you look across the board. It's actually sizing up. Shaping up to be a great game. I mean... Strong performances throughout, and they've really been strong on the glass. And here's Barton after the three-pointer from Clay Thompson. Fires from 18. That one off the back iron and out. And so it's Porter bringing it up now for the Nuggets. Murray, no good. You know what? He's just stone cold right now. Really not sure if he's their best option offensively as they try to get back in this game. They're doing a really good job of getting the ball inside and attacking the paint. That's an area they have completely dominated. Well, once they recognized the advantage they had inside, it made a lot of sense just to continue to attack that area. Here's Pascal. Fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway, so a three-point play chance for him. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been flawless. Clearly just an example of a different mindset between these teams. The Warriors shooting their sixth attempt at the charity stripe in the game. The Warriors making a switch here. Weissman's checked in. Free throw drops for Pascal. And for those of you just joining us, we're in the second quarter with about three minutes gone by. Barton surveying the floor. 
Here's Jokic. And no good. The try spell continuing for him. The edge on the glass is the difference. It's allowed them to build this lead. And really a reflection of their superior effort level to this point. Um, it seems to me they've gone after this win a little bit more. Here's Wiseman. He's got six. As to Wiggins. Yeah, they're going to have a nice little run here. Denver's gone 0-2 from deep here in the second. Guys, they're looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively, for sure. Now, you got to remember, Barton isn't just a scorer. This guy is also superb at finding open teammates. Now here's Curry. 13 points in the game. Shock up two there. Curry's got 15 points. But when you allow good scorers to get uncontested shots at the rim, no wonder you're losing. You know, he should be getting extra attention from the defense, not less. And it's good, two points. Well, you certainly can't fault him as the reason they're behind. He's been on target and on top of his game. Jokic against Pascal. The pass to Curry. And another three for Golden State. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. Barton outside. Pass to Jokic. The kick out to Porter. Lock at six. Passes it to Jokic. Over Thompson. Jokic, no good. Plus eight in the rebound differentials. One more reason why they're in control. Yeah, double-digit advantage on the scoreboard. They've taken the initiative. They've played, I think, with more purpose so far. And here are the Nuggets now. The Warriors making the shot. Barton, no luck. Pasco, the pass to Curry. Wiggins, and a great assist by Curry as that one goes in. Curry's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. Here's Murray. And they get it. And two free throws coming up as the whistle blows. He barely missed that one. That one on Thompson. Well, I love how crafty Jokic is. You know, he basically baits defenders into committing the foul once he gets deep position. Shooting two. The first one falls. They've hit every one of their free throws here in the second quarter. Very important when you're trailing. And Jokic drops them both. And it's Curry with the ball, bringing it up for the Golden State Warriors. The three. Millsap grabs the miss. Denver's got nothing but zeros from long range in the second quarter. 0 of 4. Here's Porter. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. And the athleticism and size of Porter creates problems for the defense. Hard to guard without getting physical. He'll take his third and fourth free throw shots of the game right here. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Free throw good. Porter. And Porter drops them both. Golden State's gone two of four from three-point range so far in the second quarter. Murray against Curry. Thompson outside. Six to shoot. The dish to Wiseman. He can't get that one. Good work defensively by Millsap. The Nuggets on offense. Martin from outside. And Curry pulls it down. This is definitely a day he'd like to forget. He just hasn't had the energy or the intensity to get it done out there. 
He's still scoreless. Uh, unwilling to let up, even for a moment. That's his killer instinct, just fanning the flames. Yeah, I love the fact he doesn't play the score. He just keeps coming, attack mode. He doesn't know how to step off the gas pedal. Well, one make and six attempts. I, I think it's fair to say he's had a rough start to this quarter. On its way from Curry for two. Score the basket, his eighth. Eight for 13 from the floor. Boy, Curry is so creative and efficient. And when he gets hot and gets going, he rains down points and baskets on the defense. Now here's Millsap. Pass to Barton, takes a three. Andrew Wiggins grabs the board. Not quite enough defense that time around. Just lucky he was off. Curry's shot is good. They are just killing him on the interior. Yeah, you can't say that with enough emphasis. I mean, the defenders are just not being aggressive enough down low. You got to play with some physicality in the paint. And Jokic gets it to go. How about that persistence there? Jokic refusing to give up on the glass. On the wing, Thompson. Plays it up and in on the nice reverse. Thompson's got seven points in the game. Man, he's got such a great touch and feel around the basket. He made that reverse look easy. The pass to Barton. But they recover it. And Millsap has it in. Yeah, Millsap doing good work there with the extra possession converting on the offensive glass. It's Curry outside. And it's Jokic with the rebound. Jokic has got rebound number seven for him tonight. 14 feet away. And Denver again with the bucket. Jokic is such a developed offensive player. He's really good at taking advantage of these mid-range spots. Inside and slam dunk by Caskill. What nice timing on these jumps. He's somewhat on the small side for a power forward, but he just never gives up. Now here's Barton, still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. To the middle, Millsap kicks to Murray. Shoots over Curry. Whoops, there's the 24-second shot clock violation, so they'll turn it over. Big group substitution here for Denver. JaVale McGee's checked in for Millsap. Aaron Gordon comes in for Michael Porter. Rivers, he's checked in for Barton. And Morris subbed in for Murray. Poole, the pass to Wiggins. Some nice passing by Golden State here. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. And when you see Wiggins starting to develop that mindset, that mental edge, knows he has the defender in trouble, and he's able to draw the foul as a result. Free throw good, Wiggins. You know, there's no question the talent is there for Wiggins. It's obvious. But can he take that next leap forward and become a superstar? He may be destined to be a good second star on the team and maybe not the leading guy. Green, he's checked in for the Nuggets. And the Warriors also making a change. Green, he's checked in for Wiseman. And they have yet to miss a shot from the line here this quarter. Yeah, you have to make teams pay for fouling you. That's why they call them free. And they've done exactly that. Made them pay. He gets it in there. You know, even when the defense is a little handsy, Gordon is a pro at completing these drives. Pass to Poole. Higgins outside. Passes it to Poole. All alone. That balls. Nice feed that time from Wiggins. Wiggins has got three assists now in this one. Morris with the bucket. And guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with their work down low. Pass to Green. Here's Poole, covered by Morris. Great open look there. Wiggins has got 12 now in this quarter. Monster quarter for him. He's put the team on his back, trying to carry them to the W. It's blocked, and he recovers it. Here's Poole. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. 
That's his first personal. It's going to be on Aaron Gordon. He had a defender all over him. He got him good there. I mean, that's why the shot was so far off. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the night right now. First one falls for Devon Looney is checked in for Andrew Wiggins. Good on both. It's nine seconds separating the shot clock and game clock. The pass to Gordon. And it's Gordon finishing it off. Look at Gordon. Nice through that defense. Getting ahead of steam on his way to the basket and flushing that dunk home. Oubre with it. This one for three. No good. Shot missing. It's been all about Stephen Curry for the Golden State Warriors. And of everything he's doing well, it's his scoring that you point to first. Already 22 points in this game. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks, guys. Andrew, what do you like about the way the team's playing so far? Uh, we're competitive right now. We're going after it. In our possession, we'll go hard. We'll see if that continues in the second half, Andrew. Thank you. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. And we'll be back for the third quarter of action following halftime. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Well, there's a definite postseason buzz in the air. Welcome back, everybody. Ernie Johnson, Kenny Smith, and Shaquille O'Neal. Well, for the Warriors, to keep the series competitive, they know they have to win tonight. And that pressure has brought out the best in it. They don't look like a team that's willing to go down three games to one in this series. They want to even it up. Taking a look at the Warriors, Kenny, what would you think? Well, the bench came in and helped them run away with this one. Tremendous job of getting loose, getting open, and drilling shots. You always want that spark off the bench. And these guys deliver. And you, big fella, let's get your thoughts on the Nuggets. Well, it's not a huge surprise they're getting crushed. Ooh, all you got to do is look at the rebound the they were outworked on the boards in the big play. They even have a hope of coming back. Got to pick up the intensity, man. And now with the second half about to get underway, let's send you back courtside. See you, everybody, with Kevin Harlan. our round one coverage continue curry has been sensational you, you just love the patience in that first half waited until he got the look he wanted well you know what guys it was all about efficient offense not rushing things taking your time finding the best shot on every possession well it doesn't get much better than playoff basketball let's get back to the action here in round one Will Zampino gets the big man. Bill Barton is out there with Murray. And it's put at the three. That's the group on the floor for Denver. And so it looks like Denver will retain possession here. Great instincts from him to get a hand on that pass and tip it out. And, you know, even though they didn't come up with the steal, that's still a nice defensive play. A tremendous mobile one block that we had to see again. Great send back. And it's a different kind of defense teams play in the postseason. More in-your-face, physical, high-energy plays like that one. And it's Murray penetrating. An elite defender. Thompson's basketball IQ, size, and length is a lethal concoction. And obviously, his momentum from the last game has carried over here tonight. And you know, that's how it goes with him. I mean, his hot streaks, guys, don't last minutes. They last days. Now, here's Jokic. Murray kicks to Barton. Here's Jokic. The Warriors pull it in. 
Weisman's got rebound number seven for him tonight. Curry finds Thompson. Off target from outside. Denver shooting the ball for just 28%. Here's Porter. Good, and the assist goes to Murray. Porter's got six. With maturity comes greater patience, understanding how to play smarter. Murray keeps his options open and finds a teammate who's gotten free. Nice shot by Thompson. It's a great move, and he catches the defense completely off guard. Yeah, if that's a harbinger of things to come, he's looking at having a very big second half. Now, here's Jokic. He's got 16. Millsap misses. That's one for their first four to start the second half. Oh, big finish. Emphatic. He hangs on the rim just for good measure. Wow. Well, I guess there's nothing wrong with a little bit of showboating here and there. And it's Jokic missing. Clearly out of rhythm now, guys. I mean, just one for five to begin the second half. Green. They grab their own miss, and the layup's good off the glass. Green's got his second basket. And like whenever Green is assertive from there, knows he can score and does just that. Pass to Jokic. Millsap trying to get open, and Jokic gets it to go. The assist by Barton. He does not lack for confidence. He shouldn't. I mean, this guy's a dangerous scorer. Now here's Wiseman. Jokic defending. Here's Poole. Makes it off the glass. Poole's got four points in the quarter. And of the last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is just smash mouth physical basketball, guys. And physically, there's no doubt they've been the stronger team. A plus 10 rebound advantage tells you all you need to know. Seems to have a knack for hitting guys in their spots. His vision, excellent. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. Barton outside. Good D by Thompson. And not allowing the shooter even an inch of breathing room on that one. And guys, that's exactly the kind of high-impact defense they want to see out of him. And how about mixing it up inside there? Steph, still a threat. That nimbleness he has helps him to get that shot off. This is his first free throw of the game. Shooting two. First free throw is good. And I wonder if Curry ever thought that so many young players out there would be following his lead. He's absolutely changed the game. Catching up on the changes for Denver. Aaron Gordon comes in for Paul Millsap. And Morris subbed in for Barton. And the Warriors also making a change. Oubre is checked in. And so it's Morris with it. He'll bring it up for the Nuggets. He kicks it to Murray. Outside, Porter. Curry with the steal. A shot by Thompson, and no one's around. And a little luck that time, but it drops. Gotta love the smooth shooting stroke of Thompson. Outstanding at shooting as soon as he catches the ball. No doubt about it. He has done a ton to help his team, but he's going to have to do even more if they want to have a chance to get back in this one. Now, here's Oubre. Outside Curry. To the paint, and it's Green with the jam. Yeah, Curry is so impressive. His peripheral vision is what makes him unique, in addition to his ball handling skills. He does a nice job setting up his teammates and knows how to get them the ball when they're open. The offensive rebound, Jokic with the bucket. Yeah, coach's pet peeve there, no box out. Those are free points you're giving away. You've got to work harder on the glass. Now, here's Thompson. He's got 11. Outside Curry. Three-pointer. That's in, coming off the assist from Thompson. Thompson's got six assists here tonight. And that three ball of Curry deadly. I mean, you feel like it's going in as soon as he lets it go, no matter where, at what angle or how deep. Gordon with no one around, and they wasted no time getting those three points back. The real come at us, and we're coming right back at you. A little back and forth from long range. I love it. That's a terrific answer there. Boy, he's demanding the ball. He wants it, and he's coming through. I mean, you can see why his teammates trust him down the stretch, guys. Porter, no luck. Golden State's gone 1-2 from beyond the arc since coming out of the break. 
Thompson for three. Good for another bucket. He's made half a dozen now, six for eight on the night. <laughs> Distance doesn't mean a thing to Quay. He's too proficient a shooter for an extra few feet to make any difference. Now here's Gordon. He's got 13. Jokic and the layup fall. Jokic has got 22. You know, so far he's been dominant this period, making the most of his opportunities. They double team Curry. And a bit of a battle here for the ball. The official signals a jump ball here. Denver with the ball. Denver shooting around 40% in the third. Maybe settling for some less than ideal looks out there. Morris passes to Gordon. He dishes it to Porter. The Nuggets moving the ball around. Up again. And the second chance effort by Gordon. Gordon's got 15. Well, you know what I like to say? Persistence pays. And with Gordon, he's the kind of guy who just does not rest on the glass. And it's Green with the jam. And he's now got the double-double. 10 points and 12 rebounds. And really the story of this second half. One team getting the shots they want. The other, not so much. And that's why you have such a huge gap in the shooting numbers between the teams. Oh, what a pass. And then he lays it in with the circus move. Mm, so smooth. He could have messed that up trying for a big slam. Nice work going to the layup. Curry passes to Wiseman. And a great assist by Curry as that one goes in. He's got 12. And a closer look here at the hustle stats for the Warriors. Defensively, they played with a lot of energy, and, and the steals we've seen are a result of that aggressiveness. They haven't wasted time getting the ball up the court tonight either, and it's resulted in a lot of fast break points. That's his second. For two shots. Foul. Two. And this is his second trip to the line in the game. Two shots. Shooting two. Free throw good, Green. And the Nuggets with some changes. JaVale McGee's checked in for Jokic. Green comes in for Michael Porter. And it's Austin Rivers in for Murray. Then for the Warriors, Eric Paschal, he's checked in for Wiseman. Wiggins comes in for Curry. And it's Kent Bazemore in for Clay Thompson. And both free throws good for Green. We're still waiting for that first miss from the line this half. 100% since halftime? Come on now. I'm not sure this lead's going away anytime soon with that kind of marksmanship. Now here is Morris. Five on the clock. Here's Rivers. And that time, also a missed shot. And a big lead for them on both the scoreboard and the backboard thus far. Yeah, rebounding has been a big key in this one. They've asserted their will and have taken control on the glass. And this kind of athleticism at the center position, pretty remarkable. I mean, McGee letting it all hang out there. Wiggins kicks it to Bazemore. That falls. Nice feed that time from Wiggins. Bazemore's got seven points in the game. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need a basket. Outside, Green. Passes to Gordon. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. Green's got 13 rebounds in the game. Class eating. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. That's his third this is his third trip to the free throw line. Golden State, Eric Pascal. Taking two shots. Shooting two. Free throw drops for Pascal. So both teams making some changes here. So he gets them both. Denver's gone one of four and three-point shots here in the third. 
Campazzo, Wiggins with the block. Great read that time by Wiggins, anticipating the shot. Sends it out with return to sender postage. Here's Gordon, and then Gordon with the dunk. And that's Gordon's game now. You can't give him room to hit the launch pad because if he does, he's throwing it down every time. Pass to Wiggins. And it's JaVale McGee with the foul. JaVel McGee. That's foul number two for him. That's his second personal foul. It's picked off. Only their first turnover of the game, taking terrific care of the basketball. And that's one more key to their lead, guys. I mean, they're creating opportunities for each other and not the other team. Green controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. And all those second chance points have given them a boost here in the second half, and that's a great way to cut into the lead. There's the pass to Mulder. And here's Wiggins. Six on the shot clock. And again, it's the Warriors missing. Here's Green. McGee trying to break free. And Green gets it to go. Green's got four points this quarter. Mulder, the pass to Pascal. Wiggins against Gordon. Outside, Green. That one, no good. Excellent D that time there from McGee. Pass to Gordon. And they double up Gordon. Kicks it to McGee. Shoots from the high post. And it's off the back rim. No good. And here we go. Fast break. Wiggins has got it. McGee with the block. Boy, and the wingspan McGee has covers a lot of ground. Very useful for shot blocking to the inside and the basket by Gordon Gordon's got 19 points wow what a pass there he made that a very easy basket with that setup the three quarters of play all in the books and this one all but over already the Warriors on top just dominating this one don't go anywhere the final quarter is coming up next on 2k sports And a quick look now at the State Farm assist of the game. And he sliced the D wide open with this feed. They had no chance to permit that basket. Yeah, that's just a brilliant read of the defense. I mean, it was also excellent anticipation of the movement of his teammates before the pass. Just great harmony on all sides. And we're happy to have you back for more playoff basketball here in round one. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups courtesy of Gatorade for the fourth quarter. Setting the floor for the Warriors. They've got Kent Bazemore, Looney out there with Lee, and it's Toscano in at the power forward. No good on that one. Now Denver takes it the other way. Rivers passes to Najee. No, I tell you what, he earned his money on that foul. Yeah, if you're going to foul, then make sure that you don't give a chance for the and one. At the line for your Nuggets, Zeke Naji. At the line for two. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. And so he makes both from the line. Here's Mulder. Pass to Bazemore. 
Here's Looney. Pass to Mulder. Off target from three-point range. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. That's all the officials are all over that one. Clearly a foul. I mean, didn't give him any choice but to blow the whistle. I mean, you got to play without foul. Taking two shots. No good on that one. He hits the second from the line. Warriors shooting fantastically in this game, 62% from the floor. And there's the pass to Looney. Some nice passing by Golden State here. Here's Toscano. Just four to shoot. Taken away. Down low. Here's Nudge. Well, if you don't take care of the ball, fellas, that's what can happen. Absolutely, Greg. That makes the turnover even more painful. What? You, you mean the throw down at the end? I'll tell you what, fellas. I mean, the highlight shows are going to pain them even more. Holder. They get it again. Looney with the bucket. Looney's got his first pass. How frustrating for the defense. You get the stop, but then fail to block out. Well, you know, that's the way it's going to be for them today, fellas. Can't sustain any momentum. Campazzo. And he converts the layup. Taking it up strong against size. He does not lack for confidence. That's well done there. I mean, don't even give him a chance to get to the block. Get in tight and finish at the rim. And, you know, passes like that go a long way. Terrific teamwork. And over two and a half minutes in the books here in the fourth. And the wide open shot from Green. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. And I thought that was going to drop. It looked good from here. Lee outside. Here's Looney. Five to shoot. Here's Mulder. Out of bounds. Denver takes possession. The Warriors making a switch here. Pools checked in. And so Green will bring it up for the Nuggets. Here in the fourth, they've allowed just four points. Rivers in the corner. Back to Green. And they force the shot clock violation. Great D. Warriors have gone just 33% from the field in the fourth quarter so far. They are two of six. Poole, the pass to Lee, and they call an illegal screen here. Yeah, but just the second turnover of the game. I mean, overall, pretty meticulous offensively. Yeah, I like what they're doing here, and that's really what it's all about. When you don't beat yourself, you become hard to beat. Feeds it to Green, and that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Jermichael Green at the line for two. two. And he makes the first. Free throws good from Green. Golden State's gone 0-3 so far in the fourth quarter from long range. 
Top of the key, Looney. Lee outside. Shot clock at six. Knocks it loose. And the Nuggets pushing it up now. And the shot goes down. Attacking in transition, the most consistent way to generate easy looks. Yep, exactly. And if there's any opportunity for early offense, you've got to push it and push it every time. Baysmore misses. The Nuggets have gone three or four in field goal attempts since getting things started here in the fourth. The feed to Green. Inside, Campazzo. Terrific assist. A nice finish. Solid play all around. Nice touch there near the hoop. Here's Poole. There's Lee with the three. And he's good on the three ball. Lee's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. Astonaji lets it go from 11. It's good on the putback. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. And on the flip side, the defenders have to show more fight on the interior. They've got to offer more resistance here. Looney kicks to Lee. And the call is going to be, yes, yes, it is, an illegal screen. Yeah, another turnover. The guys on the whole, I think they've done a great job of running their offense without too many miscues. For Denver, they've gone 5 of 7 from the field since the beginning of the fourth. Strong work at that end of the floor. Here's Najee. It's rebounded by Poole. Golden State's gone into a funk from downtown in the fourth. Only one of their five three-pointers has found the bottom of the bucket. And, and, and typically, he has the touch to finish when he's in tight, but not sure on that possession. Fires the three. And it's Looney with the rebound. The Warriors shooting a paltry 33% in the fourth. Not a good showing for this offense. Toscano's shot is good. And this is why coaches talk about playing with pace. The scoreboard tells it all. That really has been the difference. I mean, they've been the better team in transition. Out left to the wing. Kicks to Rivers. And Lee pulls it down. Oh, you, you've got to be able to deliver when you get a bunny like that. That's just too easy of a shot to miss. And we always talk about making your teammate better. That assist was right on target. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Rivers can't get it to go. And, you know, the defense to me looked like they were okay to let him prove he could make that shot. And Poole gets it to go well-rounded effort and, and they show no signs of letting up almost no holes in their performance tonight they've been tremendous poked away and now in transition is Lee here we go passes it to Looney here's Toscano guarded by Green Toscano passes to Poole Here's Lee, and there are the Warriors now with another bucket. Yeah, a big part of this run here has been their ability to score from mid-range. Pass to Naji. This is to Rivers. Campazzo. That's tipped, but he gets it back. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. And the Nuggets making a change here. McGee's checked in. And Golden State also making a change. Mulder's checked in. He kicks to Lee. Toscano passes to Mulder. He just cannot buy a bucket, guys. I'll tell you what, that's a painful quarter for him, and it's painful for me to watch, too. Huge hole in the defense, that possession. He didn't waste any time cutting through it. Now the pass to Toscano. Now Bazemore launches a three. The shot comes out. Well, he had one three-pointer in the first half, but so far in the second, he's come up with goose eggs. And that one's good, Harrison. 
And so Bazemore will bring it up for the Warriors. That one falls through. It's his sixth make from the floor this game. Now six for ten. For Denver, they've gone through the fourth quarter shooting 50%. Seven of 14. And it's McGee with the jam. You know, all McGee needs, guys, is good positioning. Once he has that, dunking the ball is elementary. Here's Mulder. Pass to Toscano. To the middle. In the corner, Baysmore with it. Four on the shot clock. It's hauled in by the Nuggets. Wide, wide open, and still, surprisingly, he wasn't able to cash in. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. That's his fourth first foul. At the line for your Nuggets, Shaquille Harrison. Two shots. And the first one drops. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. A minute 42 left in the fourth quarter. Lee passes to Looney. Golden State moving the ball around. Here's Mulder. Six on the shot clock. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. That's his first personal foul. At the line of the Two shots. Shooting two. good on the free throw and he can't get the second one to drop either coming up empty that time and entering the final countdown, game four effectively decided here, guys. This is just a tremendous accomplishment for the Warriors. This was a very efficient offense tonight. And the, they found a way to get their shots to go down. A little luck didn't hurt. A lot of their 50-50 shots fell their way. And what a tremendous standout performance it was for Steph Curry. There wasn't much they could do to slow him down as he was converting every good chance he got. Top of the key, Looney. Passes to Mulder. On the wing, Lee, guarded by McGee. And again, it's the Warriors missing. We've got a nine-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. For the three, and the three ball is good can appreciate the fight now but it isn't how they came into the game yeah you know I agree with you they waited too long to finally ramp themselves up and here's Bazemore so we see the Warriors taking the game here this was a crucial game for him, tying up the series at two apiece, Greg, a, a huge accomplishment. And this series, I think, hinged on who picked up game four, Kevin. I mean, now it's a three-game series, and anything can happen. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Thank you, Kevin. Steph, everyone knows you do a lot of different things for this team, but what would you say your primary focus is? I'm trying to just take uh, responsibility in my defensive uh, duties. She's the point guard, uh, force them into different situations, difficult shots. Being our first you know, line of defense, uh, is that bringing the ball up, put pressure on them, and try to take them out their offense. That's a lot of great point guards in this league, so I got to be able to do that all year and uh, try to get a good start to that this season. 
That's what franchise players do, play at both ends. Thank you, Steph. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. Great interview once again. And that about wraps it up, folks. We hope you've enjoyed our broadcast of the NBA Western Conference quarterfinals. For Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching the NBA on 2K Sports. And we'll see you next time.